make a little video on the progress I'm making with my 1991 14 foot Wahoo skiff and uh, so I'm stripping it down fixing all the holes uh, any you know gel coat issues I sand it all the way down do some fairing on the keel there's a couple little cracks or not all the way through the fiberglass but on the gel coat in the keel so and we found out as I sanded it, <clears throat> this boat belonged to Stafford County Utilities at one time. Everything you can see that on the side. <clears throat> but uh, it was just kind of like a hand spray painted job when I bought it. Kind of cool, but I, I wanted to get it fixed. But I, I li kind of like it white or off-white. I might just make it off-white. I haven't decided on a color yet. But anyway... <clears throat> Got all the holes. I still have to do a little feathering on the holes. This, actually, that one feels pretty good. But there's a few. I'm gonna patch these holes with a uh, epoxy, some cabosil, and uh, mill fibers. <clears throat> and then uh, probably put some glass on top. I'm gonna end up like fairing out this whole section. I might even do the whole top. Just bring it all down to fiberglass and just put, put some glass on there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the non-skid I've sanded down because there was just so many things attached to the top here. We had a trolling motor and a uh, an anchor pole up here. So I've sanded that down. I'm gonna put some rubberized non-skid when I when I throw the paint on it I've got a lid to put on there that I got I'm fixing all this non or non skid is going to be sanded down just because of the holes where the chair was it's never going to be right horn hole not corn hole but the horn hole yeah that's going to be filled in all this will be epoxied and then glass over top oh, I'm not going to do a new rub rail this rub rail is actually pretty good. I got a little rub rail repair in the front I'm gonna do. Of course, the gas tank, I'm gonna get a new gas tank and put in. I'll have this vent off tomorrow. I meant to get it today, but I just didn't get to it. Yep, I'm gonna put a cover and uh, a little compartment in there. I'll have a drain system for the, uh, for the decks, little drain scuppers one inch that'll go back here I'm gonna this I don't know kind of strange on this boat but there are four holes there's another one on the side closest to me here <clears throat> and I'm gonna glass over those three holes and just have the one drain back there that'll go into a scupper but yeah it's gonna be sanded it got real dirty we had a terrible terrible northeaster about three days ago and uh, I mean it was just it was almost worse than that hurricane that we had just the intensity of the wind that blew and uh, had to take all the shelters down and stow them away for a while till the wind went away but yeah on the back so this is where where that scupper is going to come out could just be a one inch drain there Clean up all the edges here, sand that back down. Fill all these holes on the transom, but the transom look, looks and I mean feels really good. I had one little area that was soft in the hole in the bottom there. So I got all that uh, dead wood out of there. It wasn't much, and it's hard as a rock under there. So I'll, I'll fill that, you know, epoxy that and uh then we'll throw the throw that drain drain pipe on there but yeah man it's coming along i'm really liking the the neutral the white and it just so happens that my buddy who i'm building a 28 footer with he's got tons of white paint so he's like man just get some paint and don't buy any paint <laughs> so I think that's probably what I'm gonna do <clears throat> so yeah the one rub rail issue is right here kind of pull that back a little bit the screws <clears throat> pull
pulled, but 5200 on that. I'm going to do a new light. <clears throat> Take the ones on the sides out. Don't think we really need those. <clears throat> Patch up all those holes. I'm going to put a, a gas gauge in there. And, uh, but yeah, that's the progress. So I'll send another video out here once we get, uh, once we get, uh, maybe before primer <clears throat> and then after primer and then after top coat. But, uh, yeah, and I don't think I'm going to put the rails back on this thing. I just like the way it looks like this. So, a little sleeker. I'm going to get a new uh, windshield for it also and some kind of bar for the back with rod holders because uh, I do take this thing offshore. Even though it's a 14-footer, we get some really nice days out, uh, you know, out in the ocean. So I've had this out as far as Push Button Hill, 12 miles. Nah, nah, maybe that's about 8 miles, I think, Push Button is. I'm not sure from here, but anyway, definitely been in the Gulf Stream in it. Fun. All right, man.